Good morning, everybody. Uh, hope everybody's uh, doing okay with uh, digging out the snow. <laughs> Heard that a bunch of schools are canceled. Uh, it's cool. And uh, last night the Seahawks won, and the Vikings persisted. Anyway, let's uh, moving on to uh, to the memes today. Here's a good one from Doug. It's pretty funny. And uh, here's a great one from uh, from Hector. That was a good one. Now here we go to uh, today's news. Number one. Democrats focus on impeachment articles beyond Ukraine. Okay. Why didn't they talk about it in the beginning? I mean, yeah. why Ukraine for a whole month? Ex-official, Ukraine knew of eight freeze in July. Okay. House panel probe report to be released Tuesday. Uh, that's good that they're writing it so quickly. Next page. Uncovering the most unhealthy foods of 2019 and snack smarter. These are the healthiest foods of 2019. You know, a couple days, a few days ago, maybe a week ago or so, I talked about that. Uh, omega, well, omega three veg. No, some of the uh, vegetable oils are very bad, like peanut oil, sunflower seed oil. Uh, so, uh, especially it's correlated with a higher incidence of, uh, of uh, children's psych psychiatric problems later on in life. So, need to minimize. Not me to minimize those oils. Uh, olive oil is good. Uh, I think palm oil is good too. Uh, and of course, butter is always great. So, for that. Uh, poverty is a story of about us, not them. That has no, uh, no source of where that article came from. Howard Stern calls out Simon Cowell for AGT drama. Uh, Brad Pitt, Anthony Hopkins talk crying and alcohol. Stars stung at the Fashion Awards 2019. Transfer your debt. Squash your debt. With 21 months, 0% intro APR. Don't get into uh, credit card negative balance in the first place. You need to watch your budgeting. Uh, Dave Ramsey is uh, doing great work. Uh, you guys need to, if you have a problem, uh, start following Dave Ramsey's program. If you start getting negative balances on your credit card, you need to cut them up. Don't use credit cards then, until you finish paying it off first. Uh, now, of course, you know, if there's an emergency, there are much cheaper places to borrow money from than your credit card. But sometimes you don't, you have no choice, and I understand that. But then, yeah, cut up your credit card once you borrow the money. 
and don't keep digging. Uh, churches, uh, look into your churches. Uh, there shouldn't be this much red tape. Work continues to something. Uh, there's a lot of red tape in Washington, D.C. That's a Washington, D.C. news. Japanese standout Momo Yakitori is closing in Woodbridge this month. some kind of cook restaurant or something. Gunshot through wall keeping woman up at night until a patch PM. Patch. Yeah. Parking's mostly silent row sparks debate. Yeah. Celebrities are very good at staying quiet when it suits them. George Conway tweets back at wife over impeachment. Seahawks. No, Jimmy Carter is again in the hospital. Uh, pray for President Carter's speedy recovery. Leno on union firing. I think that's Gabriel Union. Uh, speaking of unions, I heard that... Uh, that Biden's uh, campaign workers are unionizing. So why aren't all Democratic campaign workers unionized already? You know, are they against unions? It should, it should, everything should be unionized. I, I'm surprised that there's not already a, a, a Democrat workers union already. You know, all the party workers of all sorts. There should be a union health care plan for all the union members in car carrying Democrats. Come on, people. Duh. Right, one of the stories that I saw yesterday that was very interesting uh, is uh, it's on a study, uh, a story by NPR uh, on a Stanford study about how students across the country, including Stanford students, uh, the primarily focus on high school and junior high students, uh, do, not, do not have a good ability, cannot tell if something uh, is fake news, hashtag, or is trustworthy news. And uh, it goes through a few things, uh, a couple different factors. One is the uh, reliability of the source, uh, two is the, the information itself, uh, whether the information itself on its own is potentially credible or not. And of course, uh, some uh, critical thinking is thrown in there as well uh, that, that they evaluated. Uh, it said that this study surprisingly, unsurprisingly, unsur found out that Students are not very good at evaluating sources, that most of them cannot tell fake news from trustworthy news, and that uh, it's very easy for information to go viral, uh, for rumors to get started, which, uh, now first of all, it's not like this is something especially new uh, to understand. And the scale of the problem might have been <coughs> more, might have been surprising to the researchers, but the otherwise that young people are gullible is uh, it's conventional wisdom, you know, uh, which is why we have a minimum age for voting, for one, uh, and that you know, we send children to school to send uh, young teenagers to school, so ho hopefully have them learn something. Uh, and of course, the uh, this news, uh, this this study, from reported in NPR, you know, raises a natural question. I mean, the the article itself obviously did not talk about this, but you know, the natural question for people who are reading the article is, why should we trust sixteen year old Gretard Thunberg on anything she has to say, or why should we trust? A couple of seventeen-year-olds from uh, Parkland High School uh, about anything they have to say, as opposed to some of the other teenagers. Uh, yeah. 
why is it that these teenagers would be especially more trustworthy than any other teenagers? You know, all teenagers are suspect, period. And until they have proved themselves, preferably in an IQ test or some other rigorous exams. I mean, of course, the Democrat Party has no good talent, uh, which is kind of obvious given that they are struggling with their presidential nomination race. You know, no one has broken clearly out of the pack other than other than Biden, uh, who possibly could get elected. Uh, but anyway, uh, at least he has a chance uh, compared to some of the others. So. So this study reported in NPR is uh, kind of contradictory. Now, of course, we know that the, uh, just a reminder in case you didn't know, the Flynn effect ended <coughs> 20, 30 years ago, and uh, the average IQ has been steadily declining uh, across, across the West and the whole world over the past 30, 20, 30 years. Uh, just in case you didn't know, people are getting more more stupid. Now, <coughs> uh, this is for adult IQ. Uh, adult IQ is remarkably uh, consistent in th that they are not as amenable to uh, to education than it is primarily nature, uh, which as we know, 60% of IQ come from in your inheritance and 40% uh, approximately or sometimes less come from your, uh, come from the environment uh, and not necessarily school environment. Most, a lot of it come from the, the natal environment and uh, immediately after birth. Um, so there are lots of things uh, that can improve children's IQ. But by the time they become 18, they, their IQ tends to revert back to the 60-40% uh, with less than 20% uh, amenable to uh, education efforts. So just, just kind of fact of life. Uh, all right. I know everybody's waiting for the, uh, the favorite segment of the day. Uh, Look, let me bring up a song. <coughs> How can I convince you what you see is real? Who am I to blame you? For doubting what you feel I was always reaching You were just a dream I took for granted The friend that I in you I was living for a dream Loving for a moment Taking on the world That was just my style Now I look into your eyes I can see forever The search is over You were with me all the while Can we last forever? Will we fall apart? At times it's so confusing These questions of the heart You follow me through changes And patiently you wait I tell I came to my senses Through some miracles of faith I was living for a dream Loving for a moment Taking on the world 
That was just my style Now I look into your eyes I can see forever The search is over You were with me all the while Now the miles stretch out behind me Love that I have lost Broken hearts like victims of the game Then good luck It finally struck like lightning from the blue Every highway lead me back to you Now at last I hold you Now all is said and done The search has come full circle Our destinies are one So if you ever love me Show me that you give a damn You all know so for turn The man I really am I was living for a dream Loving for a moment Taking on the world That was just my stuff Then I touch your hand I could hear you whisper The search is over Love was right before my eyes Alright, thank you everybody. Have a good rest of the day and uh, drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and uh, hit the subscribe like the subscribe button and uh, like this video. Thank you very much, people. Uh, Mecha Warrior Panda.